What is going on everyone? I bet many of you didn't think this playthrough would happen. Neither did I a couple of points, but we are here to start the Black Eagle Route of Fire Emblem Three Houses. And I will confess, I wasn't planning on doing it this early. What changed my mind? Uh, Happy came in Fire Emblem Heroes. Yes, yes, yes. I, I It put me in a good mood and I'm like, all right, all right, let's just get started. It's happy. All right, if you, oh, by the way, I should mention, if you haven't seen the Golden Deer or Blue Lion playthroughs, any playthrough, um, then I will mention stuff in the Black Eagle route um, of this route. So be warned, there will be spoilers for those playthroughs. And also, um, my actual experiences in those routes as well. The Golden Deer route was a permadeath route. Blue Lion route I did on maddening mode. Um, and it wasn't permadeath, but I used turn wheels and all that kind of stuff. And I also added the DLC, the Ashen Wolves as well. So yeah, you would also want to see the DLC route. So I basically have done all the other routes except the Black Eagle route. So with that being said, this playthrough, I got to dedicate to a certain individual. All right. My admins have helped out with the comments to make sure I could get to this point, but I have to mention my man Chris in particular, all right, because he he is honestly the reason that this playthrough is happening. Why? Because I've had so many issues with people who are fans of Edelgard. In fact, people may not even remember, but it started in episode four of my Golden Deer playthrough. Because simply by me choosing the Golden Deer over the Black Eagles, that episode has the top amount of dislikes in all my episodes, save one. And the only other episode that it matches, it has the same amount of dislikes. And it's the one where I was upset with Casper for taking out Nadir. In that episode, in episode four, that had a comment where, at the time when I uploaded the episode, it had like two or three less likes than the actual episode itself. So that was a very light comment. I had never seen that before on where people were saying that, well, the comment was saying that they didn't think the Golden Deer route would be interesting, you know, and they thought the Black Eagle route would be better suited for me and the whole, I don't want to go into the comment because, you know, I don't want to bring up old stuff. I'm just trying to say that that's when it started. Then from that point on, I was like, I got to try to prove myself or prove to everyone that the Golden Deer, they can, it can be interesting too. That was way before I even had an inkling that Edelgard would even be my enemy. I still cared for her. She was just, you know, a rival at that point. Once she became an enemy, then I warned people because I have already seen it many times before to try and watch what they say. But instead, I got comments that I was being biased when really I was just treating Edelgard the way she was supposed to be treated. Especially after playing the Blue Line route, I am more confident in saying, in Gold Deer route, you weren't meant to sympathize with her. Or at least, not if that was the only route you had played. The Blue Ryan route, I got to know her more and got to get reasons on why I should sympathize with her. But in the Golden Deer route, she was basically just someone we knew that was an enemy. But thanks to my man, Chris, who had been monitoring the comments and helping me steer clear of things and actually preventing me from seeing a massive spoiler in the Blue Lion route thanks to Fire Emblem Heroes itself, He's the reason on why, because of all that he's done, and I forgot to mention the most important part, he himself is a massive Edelgard fan, but he's been patient with me, so I got no choice but to be patient with my man Chris. So, this goes out to you, bro, and also my man Mikey as well, but Chris has really been, he's been really supporting me uh, throughout this playthrough. So, with that being said... Ah, shoot. Where do I go? Um, right. We're going to start a new game first off. Um, so I did a video on what I'm going to do for this route. Yeah, I don't have an amiibo. Yeah. I'm going to be creating a new game plus, um, I think one of these is, uh... Oh, yeah. Where's my normal? There's, yeah, there's one that's normal. Um, if you weren't aware, I did many routes, or I redid the blue line route to get all the endings, um, that I could. We're gonna be going in with Maddening, 
And we're always gonna do classic, all right? We're always gonna do classic. Uh, do not play online. And with that being said, let's get started. And once again, I'm gonna keep all this stuff in because, you know, it is part of the game. You know, I'm just not noticing though. The colors are kind of like red and blue, even here. It really does seem like it's more of a battle between, um, Well, yeah, now that I think about it, because the Blue Lions have, um... They have the ancestry of the Ten Elites. But the Black Eagles would have the ancestry of the Saints. Or basically, the... The direct descendants of Sophus. Did they do that on purpose? Cause like it's not my imagination. Like Nemesis colors look blue, right? Call the Red Canyon. You'll die. Oh. Die. Die. You took everything that I loved. This still, honestly still kind of affects me. <laughs> Watching this. Oh, it's a very brutal scene. Gone now, mother. And I should also clarify what my views are of both Edelgard and Rhea at this point, because I don't think people know. I guess I'll wait to a good point. When is a good point? I don't even know. brought you here <sighs> I wonder how you got in here one second sorry about that it is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose <sighs> very rude indeed well hey my headphones I need to charge now come to me I wish to have a look at you Wait, so can I change? I can. Okay, so that was actually something I was wondering about. Um. I might switch this later, but for now. Yeah, for now I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay. Um. With my usual form, because honestly, this is. You know, I've been playing for Fire Emblem for, what, two years? This is who I identify as myself in the game. And I'm still going to keep my bonds with the others. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? So... Uh... <laughs> you know what? Let's go with that. Do not deceive. 
You would do well to keep your wit in line. Really? Oh, wow. I am a ghost? Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Really? What did I choose on the first time? I forgot. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Yep. Same as usual. Legend of Zelda. All right. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Apparently, I, from what I remember, I think Hubert is in the same month as me. I don't feel comfortable about that. <sighs> yep. Not that it makes a difference. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. It is almost time to begin. Hey, time to wake up. All right, here we go. Are you having that dream again? Why can't we be in this uh, building more often? Like, this was cool. Uh, dream about a war. Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. Three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Wait, do I have something wrong? Shoot, I didn't think about this, but I might have to go to the library after, er, when we're ready. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Right? Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. <sighs> Here we go. How do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. A big part of me is gonna hurt during this. I've gotten very close to Dimitri and Claude. Bandits? Here? And I'm not gonna forget Edelgard set this up. It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. Which I've been actually thinking about. Why did she come with them? That's the one thing I don't get because unless she just literally thought she could handle it and they couldn't. Because if we like Claude and Dimitri were fine. We ended up saving Edelgard's life. So, and this was her plan. She asked the bandits to come after, well, the nobles, and Claude ran off. Dimitri followed him, and Edelgard followed him as well. So I'm like, why would she do that? We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I. Wait, that uniform. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. Not really. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. All right. Here we go. So, I guess now is a good time to... Wait, what happened? Normal classic. Did I not save the game yet? Wait, Folin's New Dawn. Let me just make sure. I think I can do uh, remove the first one. Yeah, this is my real uh, Folin's New Dawn. It's on hard mode and classic. This one is the one I got for Hilda. So, yeah, let's make it slot number one. Starting from the beginning. 
A skirmish at dawn. Okay. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Yeah, I know. Okay. First thing, mark up. Now, Edelgard. Let's get a look. There's a, a bunch of things that I want to point out here. Well, I'll mention stuff later. For right now, I will use all three of them, unlike before. Though I, if I can remember, I'm going to take Claude's bow and Dimitri's lance and use them for myself. I will prevail. Okay. You do have a combat arts. Yeah. Ready and willing. I know. That's fine. Talk to me, Claude. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Alright. Combat art, curb shot, let it loose. go of course you hit that nice work yep I'm aware stay focused item oh wait on that hey Edelgard, I'm trusting you to hit will you do it you have a strange aura about you you say you're a mercenary so show me what you can do that's my line I need you to hit this. So hit Edelgard. Her crest! Alright! Now you know your limits. Yeah, okay, alright. So the first thing I noticed. When I went to play the Ashen Wolves, we I could use Edelgard there. And she seems the complete opposite of how I know her to be. I mean, granted. I'll cut through. You could say Dimitri is the same way. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. But honestly, I still feel part of Dimitri's core and his speech. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. I know. Let's see. Okay, Edelgard has her, de her defense. Six. Dimitri actually has more right now. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and move that way. But, as I was saying... I could use Edelgard, and I don't want to, I don't want to say, I, I don't want to say what I'm thinking. Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Oh, I, I know what a, a good word for it. Cheerleader-ish. Right? Like, um... If I how do what I think of Eogar, I think she's a a very a tactical She's a very intelligent person. She is cunning, um very dangerous, and I guess uh she would have to be charismatic, at least to her people. And what I get from her battle quotes is not not a warrior, right? It it seems like a massive front, basically. Oh, I gotta remember. This is a fine opportunity. It's the combat arts I taught you. I already did. Okay, but I gotta get a level up too. 
Edelgard, you back me up. Claude, you get here. Dimitri. Oh shoot, don't talk. I mean, I, yeah, I was about to say, I'm about to miss. He's in the trees though, so it's expected. Attack when an ally is nearby. Yeah. The enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Oh, is that the excuse? I actually forgot that. Okay. Dimitri, stand back. Claude, I'm gonna need you to soften him up if you can. Alright. Appreciate it, my man. I should have... Does it give me more hit? Yeah, it does. Let's go for it. My crest? There we go. Alright. That is that. Um, Edelgard? You have no chance of hitting him the way you are. Do I have another sword? No, I don't. And your sword prowess is only E plus anyways. Okay. So what do I want to do here? There are too many trees near here. Hmm. If she takes a hit... Let's see. His attack is 15, yours is 12. I want you to get a level up, Edelgard. There we go, okay! You know, maybe, uh, speaking of Chris, he mentioned something. He said, oh shoot. Okay, that was a miscalculation on my part. Seeing you like this. Um, but Chris was mentioning how it seems like whoever you have as the leader, which she currently isn't my leader, but you know, we're choosing her, uh, that they show off. Like, because Claude in the final battle got that crit on Nemesis, Dimitri in the final battle of his dodge all four of those bolting. Well, they did they use bolting or meteor? Either way, you know, long range magical units. All right. Uh, try a hand, Edelgard. It'd be great if you got a crit. No. Well, how was that? See, like this does not seem like first level. Up. I must get stronger. She seems so cheerful and happy. Well, I mean, not necessarily like happy. She can't be happy, but like. I mean, no, she's not happy, but, uh, happy with an eye. My whole point is that she just, it, like I said, it feels like a massive front. Anyways, all right, we got Axe users up next. Ah, oh, darn it, and they both cover that, that spot there. Okay. Team to me. We're gonna be going this way. All right. I'm gonna give them a chance to catch up. All right. Let's get it. Uh, I got my sword. I could use a vulnerary. But this is odd. Give Edelgard your Vulnary and wait. Edelgard, go ahead and use it. And Dimitri, you get behind me. Oh, wait, I should have. No, it's okay. It's okay. Alright.
So how are we looking? Um, that is not favorable. So, your movement. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Claw it. Get as far as you can. And I thought so. One, two, three, four, five. Darn it. He can attack me there. Which means he'd be in the trees. What we can do, though. What's their speed? Yours is five. Yours is five. Edelgard, yours, four. Okay. Then you and I will just simply advance. There we go. Witness my power. Okay. I'm a use of old Mary. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Right. Guess we'll have to deal with them too. You can move. Yep. Oh, she's not hitting that. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. This is a little troubling. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. What's his range? It's five, thank goodness. Okay. I mean, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. All of them have range of five. So... Edelgard, what we're gonna do is... How far can you go? Uh, we don't really have a choice. I have to set up a blockade. I'm aware that the axe users can come after me. Claw, you got my back. And Dimitri, you get here. Wait, what? Oh, the leader can attack Edelgard? Oh, that's not good. Um, we're gonna hope on that. I don't think he'll take her out. I'm gonna kill you where you stand. Though this would be very no, she, he can't. Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Tag go. Oh. All right, but I should be able to take you out. Only problem is. Oh, there's multiple problems, actually. If I take him out... What's the goal? Is it route? No, it's defeat the enemy commander. Okay. Edelgard, can I count on you? Maybe with some backup from Claude. Okay. Combat arts? You gotta be kidding me, I missed? Well, I mean, he is in the trees, but still. I am not using a turn well on this. But it doesn't make sense for Dimitri to get it. Because the thing is, if he attacks twice... I got no choice. I got no choice. Alright. This isn't how I wanted to end this. 
But at least Edelgard will get the experience. Plus, I'm getting my old skills back anyway, so... There we go. Yeah. Better go to her than no one. One step at a time. See, it's it's so. I don't I don't know how to describe it. I, besides, cheerleader isn't the the perfect word. I don't know. Shoot, I forgot the their weapons. Oh well. But yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. But maybe she could have just fended him off, though. But the Black Eagles make it seem like I saved her, but... Maybe not. I have to see what she says about that. Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as... The Beginning. No, I think I see signs of the... Of Sothis, what she was talking about in her ending. Mm. Just there. Maybe. So that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called The Beginning. But who once called me that? I am actually very curious. Who did call you that? What are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Honestly, I don't know if this is how Sothis was when she died, or if this is a younger version of her. Phooey! That child just saved your life! And what does that make you? Because, again, Rey is her daughter, and she didn't have... Anyways. I am no child! <laughs> Such arrogance! You look the part, but aren't you truly an adult? I didn't make that call. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl! Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. I also think that was a conscious choice on the developers as well to further... or slightly motivate you to choose Edelgar because you would have established that connection. Maybe. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? What now? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. I just noticed she had crests on there. But that means something. Did you just... Did I just what? 
Did you did you see that? The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. And Aloise, honestly, man, you fail, bro. How you let them get away? Or, hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. Not get away, but how'd you let the thieves get into the camp, man? What happened? Like, imagine if we did, if we weren't here. Like, that'd be the biggest the disgrace. Students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Ah, uh, why him? It's a shame. Eloise talks so highly of our father, and he's like, ugh, you again. Yeah? Huh. That's new. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. There's no reason why I wouldn't save you. 417. Hey, that's my birthday. Captain Gerald? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man! Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, you know, goodbye, old friend. I just realized he said, "Yo, drop that captain nonsense." That could be. <laughs> you know what? Hold up. Can I um? Oh, I can get it later. That'd be great for a compilation of all the times Leone says Captain Gerald, and he said, "That's perfect." I wonder if somebody's made a video on that. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable. I mean, realistically, he could have refused. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? That I am. Legitimately. I thought maybe adopted, but not. Nah. I'm a bandit. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. Huh. I'm doing fa very well this time. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. I mean... Eh... Uh... Uh, yeah, they do have some heavy hitters. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I will. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. Could you not handle it, though? I think you could have, but... We'll see. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Yeah. Yeah. Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? I didn't know he was captain. What? How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. How'd I get that? What? Did I get that before? Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. Yeah, just students. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering, why did she follow you? Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Unless that was the plan? Wait, what? Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I am pretty sure Edelgard only wanted Claude and Dimitri dead in this scenario. I wouldn't think, like, for example, if Lawrence died, I do not think 
That Count Gloucester would be happy about- Oh, but he wouldn't know it was her. Would he? I don't think so. But, so maybe she did that to make sure that the bandits all followed her? Or maybe she put a target on her back saying, uh, make sure you kill the one in the red, most of all. So she could, I don't know. I don't know, but without a doubt, she did plan that. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. That's absolutely what he was doing. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. And I'd wonder if Dimitri, she wanted to take out Dimitri more than Claude, because, well, for many reasons. I'm still thinking. <laughs> You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. This mirrors their conversation pretty well in the future, I would think. How Dimitri wants to trust, um, in others. And, well, anyways. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Hmm. Me, naive. Hmm. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? They actually seem quite close here, and it's a shame. In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. I, one thing I did get with, when I saw Dimitri post time skip and Claude post time skip meet, hit so much and I was like if only Edelgard could have been there it would have been <sighs> well it, it, it I'll see the way you held your ground against the bandits leader was captivating you never lost control of the situation well it showed me I still have much to learn honestly I think I did better the last time the first time I went in maddening mode I got a little bit too eager this time your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. <laughs> I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back oh. to the monastery before begging for favors. Another thing I've been meaning to point out. I was w paying attention to it when I got to post time skip. Dimitri still called me professor. And I understand why. My boy Claude called me my friend. I'm just saying, another. Claude's that dude. If I didn't mention, I personally think Claude is my favorite lord in Fire Emblem, period. My second favorite would probably have been. It's a tie between Alm or Ike, if you know them. Um. I think after that. Maybe like Marth and Krom, or maybe it's. Right. Either way. Point is, um. Claude's the top, for me. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? I mean, unless Edelgard somehow beats him out of it, but like, I just, I don't see that happening, but it could happen. Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? I have never heard either of these three introduced like this, but <sighs> sorry, Claude and Dimitri. In this, let me specify in this route, I will be choosing Edelgard no matter what. I was going to do that regardless, just pe what people said I should do in this route just reinforced it. I wish some people said a little bit too much, honestly, but yeah, I was going to support her. I made that decision when I came here. Until we get to the choice. <laughs> a wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, 
The other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. <laughs> you did not. You did not. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. I mean, I get it. They broke up the uh, empire into the kingdom and the alliance, but still. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Edelgard. She's refined, yeah. Yeah, that's more... It's... It's a, like a false face. I saw a show recently about it. Or a persona. <laughs> yeah. A false persona. Quite sincere. Yeah. A darkness lurking, be lurking beneath. A smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping. Yep, once again, no reason why I would want to get that back. Well, I mean, I could have redo the battle to make sure I get a better level up, Part but... Part 1. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter. And the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fogland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor, rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. Third time, really. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Yeah, completely different expression. And on opposite sides. Pretty sure that was telling as well. Or, not telling, but intentional. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. You know, I think I know everything in these scenes, but I forget everything that they showed. I May mean, I remember this, but like certain small scenes. And of course, I remember that. everyone you know what time it is it's time for that question of the day at least i'm assuming if you're watching this series you've at least seen one of the other two 
As a brief summary, in case you haven't heard, I ask a question of the day at the end of each segment and people answer it down in the comments below. And if it happens to be a question of the day that's suggested, then I will answer it in the question of the day segment. But for this one, there's only one question I can ask. And I might have asked it um, in other routes, but it makes complete sense to start this route with this question. Who here has seen or played the Black Eagle route? Though this is one of those questions where I'm pretty sure by how people were commenting, I can pick out who has and who hasn't. Nevertheless, I still like to ask this question of the day. So with that being said, please post your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you all next time.